KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 1, 2, 3 problems in exercise 2.2 in linear equations in one variable of 8th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, yours, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. First question. If you subtract half from a number and multiply the result by half, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? If you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply by multiply the result by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? Let us do a solution. What has given clearly if you subtract 1 by 2 from a number? So number we have to find. Let the number be taken as let the number be number B x. Right. What has given? 1 by 2 is subtracted from the number. 1 by 2 is subtracted. Right. So that is equal to x minus 1 by 2. x minus 1 by 2. Next and multiply the result by 1 by 2. Multiply the result by 1 by 2. Which means? 1 by 2 into x minus 1 by 2. Isn't it? So, first half is subtracted from the number. Next, uh, with half we have to multiply the result, total result. And then what has given? You get 1 by 8. You get 1 by 8. Yes. According to the problem. According to the problem. half into x minus half is equal to 1 by 8. So then we have to solve the equation and find the value of x, right? So x minus half is equal to 1 by 8. Here 1 by 2 multiplying this now. So this side come means it will become 2 by 1, right? Yeah, so x minus half is equal to 2 1s are 2 2s two are 2 4s are. So this will be 1 by 4. So, x is equal to 1 by 4 minus half now transfer into this side. This will be plus half. Right. Here x is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. Here minus half will become plus half only. Look here. This 1 by 2 is multiplying this one. So, that's why it will become its reciprocal 2 by 1. But here it is subtraction from x. So that's why it will become plus. Right. Yeah. So, x is equal to this will be. 4 plus 4, LCM of 4 and 2 will be 4. 4, 4 in 4, 1 time you answer 1, 1 is 1 plus 2 in 4, 2 times. So, 2, 1 is 2. X is equal to 3 by 4. Right? Yes. Therefore, required, required number is, number is 3 by 4. Right? So here for once uh, check, check this is the correct solution or not, check. Actually half into x minus half should come 1 by 8, yes. Here take this equation as 1, so x is equal to 3 by 4, substitute, substitute in equation 1. So take LH, what is the equation 1 by 2 into x minus half is equal to 1 by 8. So, take LHS that will be 1 by 2 into x. x means 3 by 4 minus half. This is equal to 1 by 2 into what is the LCM? 4 and 2, 4. 4 in 4, 1 time get cancelled. 1, 3 is a 3. Minus 2 in 4, 2 times 2, 1 is a 2. 1 by 2 into 3 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 1 by 4. 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 8. So that is equal to RHS we have got or not? That is equal to RHS. Hence, result is true for x is equal to 3 by 4. Have you understood clearly? Yes, no, it down. Next second question. 
The perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is 154 meters. Its length is 2 meters more than twice its breadth. What are the length and breadth of the pool? Right? The perimeter of the rectangular swimming pool is 154 meters has given. Its length is 2 meters more than twice its breadth. 2 meters more than twice its breadth. So what are the length and breadth of the pool? We have to find. Right? Yes. A rectangular swimming pool is there. Its perimeter is 154 meters. Perimeter is 154 meters. Next, its length is 2 meters more than twice its breadth. Suppose its breadth is, I think, x meters. Then length will be 2 meters more than twice its breadth has given. So, twice means, yes, 2x plus 2. Why? Because 2 meters more than. So, this is 2x plus 2 meters. This is x meters. Yes? Write on solution. Let the rectangles, rectangular swimming pool, swimming pools, breadth B, B x meters. Then length is equal to, length is equal to 2x plus 2 meters. Isn't it? 2x plus 2 meters. Right. Perimeter how much has given? Perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 154 meters. Actually what is the perimeter formula? Perimeter of the rectangle. Yes. 2 into L plus B is equal to 154 has given. 2 into L means, this is L no? L means 2x plus 2 plus breadth how much? X. That is equal to 154. Right. Here 2 into 2x plus x, 3x plus 2 is equal to 154. Right? Yeah. Look here. 3x plus 2 is equal to 154 plus 2. Here 2 is multiplying now. Transfer into this side. It, it will be by 2. This will be 77. So 3x is equal to 77 plus 2 also transfer this side minus 2. So, 3x is equal to, it will be 75. x is equal to 75 by, yes, 3. 3 also transferred to this side. This will be 325 is a 75. x is equal to 25, which means, 25 means, yes, breadth only, yes. Therefore, breadth, breadth is equal to, how much? 25 meters. Next, length is equal to, length is equal to, Yes, 2x plus 2 only na. Length means 2x plus 2. 2 into 25 plus 2. 225 is a 50. 50 plus 2, 52 meters. So, breadth is equal to 25 meters and length is equal to 52 meters we have got. Yes, let us check. It will be correct or not, let us check. Perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus BR. That is equal to 2 into L means... 52 plus B 25 that is equal to 2 into this is 77 277 is a 154 154 meters we have got already has given 154 meters right the, the perimeter of the rectangular swimming pool is 154 meters has given so we have got therefore hence result is hence result is true for x is equal to 25. Isn't it? x is equal to, we have taken 25 only now? Yes, note it down. Next third question. The base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 centimeters. The perimeter of the triangle is 4, 2 by 15 centimeters. What is the length of either side of the remaining equal sides? The base of an isosceles triangle has given, that is, 4 by 3 centimeters. Next, the perimeter of the triangle is 4, 2 by 15 centimeters has given. Right? So, we have to find the length of the remaining equal sides. Right? Isosceles triangle means, 
if two sides are equal in a triangle is called isosceles triangle so look here this is this is an isosceles triangle suppose abc is an isosceles triangle here base is given how much 4 by 3 centimeters so we have to find the lengths of these two equal sides suppose it will be x centimeters say x centimeters so here perimeter of the triangle also given that is 4 2 by 15 4 2 by 15 centimeters perimeter given also so we have to find these x x means length of the equal sides right yes solution right now given isosceles triangles base is base is equal to how much is yes, 4 by 3 centimeters let the length of the length of the remaining remaining equal equal side b x centimeters right next perimeter of the perimeter perimeter is equal to how much 4 2 by 15 centimeters which means 15 4 is 60 60 plus 2 is 62 by 15 centimeters right actually perimeter means here ab plus bc plus c only now yes ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 62 by 15 centimeters ab means yes x plus bc base 4 by 3 plus ca also x is equal to 62 by 15 right here x plus x 2x is equal to 62 by 15 minus plus 4 by 3 transfer into this side it will be minus 4 by 3 isn't it 2x is equal to what is the LCM of 15 and 3 yes 15 only 15 in 15 one time 1 into 62 62 minus 3 in 15 yes 4 times 5 times 4 5 4 the yes 20 62 minus 20 yes 42 by 15 2x is equal to 42 by 15 then x is equal to 42 by 15 into here 2 is multiplying x if you transfer into this side it will be yes divide so it is also can be written as 1 by 2 2 in 42 21 times x is equal to 21 by 15 and also can be written as next third table get cancelled now 3 7 is 3 5 is x is equal to 7 by 5 is also can be written as 1 2 by 5 centimeters x which means the length of the equal side the length of the remaining side the length of the length of the remaining equal side equal side is equal to 1 2 by 5 centimeters right yes let us do check check look here perimeter perimeter is equal to x means here is 7 by 5 plus this is 4 by 3 plus 7 by 5 so what is the LCM 15 5 3 is a 3 7 is a 21 plus 3 5 times 5 4 is a 20 plus again 5 3 times 3 7 is a 21 21 plus 21 42 42 62 62 by 15 15 4 is a 62 is remainder by 15 centimeters see perimeter is equal to 4 2 by 15 centimeters has come it is equal equal to according to the problem or not see 4 2 by 15 so what we have done is exactly right hence hence result is true for x is equal to 1 2 by 5 understood clearly yes no did not okay viewers if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much